So as a neurologist specializing in headache conditions, uh, I talk about this with my patients all the time. And the one thing that everyone needs to know is to keep a diary. Simple, right? So whenever you have a diary, you write down your headache frequency, your diet, any weather conditions, and over time, you'll see that a pattern is gonna emerge. And it's that pattern that allows you to identify your triggers. So now, for example, if you think there's a potential trigger and then you take a look at it, um, for example, something in your diet may cause some sort of migraine, you can stay away from that for a month. If your headache improves, it's probably the case. If you reintroduce it and your headaches worsen, then you've sealed the deal. So um, there are actually four types of triggers that I would kind of, that go into lifestyle that are prevalent in individuals who suffer from migraine. So the first one is sleep deprivation. You want to make sure you get adequate amounts of sleep. And we do find that if individuals have had a really rough day and they don't get enough sleep, they may get a migraine. The second one is diet, making sure you eat f frequently and from time to time. Um, if you skip meals, you may more, be more likely to have a migraine, more than none. Uh, the third one is lack of exercise, um, and that is something that keeping your body more in tune with what's happening and more moving um, and improvising with yoga or meditation, that's something that will help with both physical aspects of the body and also relaxation from stress relief. And then the last one is hydration. We know dehydration is the biggest, biggest, most potent trigger for migraines. So hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. When it's hot outside, when you're inside and it's winter and you're using a heater, make sure you drink that seven to eight glasses of water. So the first one is caffeine is the answer to everything. Whatever it is, it's caffeine. Caffeine did it, you need more caffeine, not enough caffeine. So caffeine can be good for you and caffeine can be bad for you. Yes, it can ward off headaches. We do find that small amounts in caffeine can help. However, too much caffeine can be bad for you. If you are someone who is having headaches on a day-to-day -day basis and you find yourself drinking coffee in the morning, afternoon, evening, even multiple times a day, it's probably contributing. And what it does, it gives you this rebounding effect. So your body gets it, your body craves it, your body signals you for more, and what happens? The signaling process is a headache. The second one is over-the-counter medicines. Whatever you're taking, whatever you see on the pill bottle, do what it says and take it around the clock. So if you find that you are taking whatever it is over the counter, it can be Tylenol, ibuprofen, every four hours, every 12 hours, and your headache goes away, comes back, or doesn't go away, why continue taking it? Again, it will still give you that rebounding effect and you'll have those rebound headaches. So again, please, please talk to your doctor. Make sure you kind of take it in and see if there's something that's more effective that you can take that will actually take the headache away once you take it. So in order to prevent dehydration, keep drinking a lot of water, especially if you're going on a plane. I don't care if you don't want to use the bathroom on the plane, drink a bottle of water before you go on, drink it while you're on in your seat, and drink it when you get off. I know life can be really difficult and sometimes certain circumstances can prevent us from sleeping, but you want to make sure you get seven hours of a rest, or even if you get five, you have to feel like you are well rested the morning you wake up because once again, lack of sleep can be a, a trigger. Eating regularly, small frequent meals will set you free. And you wanna make sure that if you are unable to do that, carry a bar in your pocket. Make sure if you're in a meeting, take the bar out, eat it. That way, the time frame from when your next meal is, is shortened. Try to see if you can start a hobby that will help with stress relief and introduce exercise. If you can't join a gym, take a yoga class. If you can't take a yoga class, try meditation. And there are a plethora of meditation apps out there. And they are, let me tell you, they are wonderful because I've tried them myself.
What works for one person may not work for the next. So in order to help with headache management in general, I want to be able to cater to them and make sure they find that particular niche where they feel like it works. And you won't know until you try. So I do encourage them. And if you need help for any of this, always ask your headache specialist because we can help find you that in a safe way. Be in tune with yourself and be involved. The person who's gonna see the most success out of this is the person who is their own advocate and who's heavily involved. The way you do that, once again, here comes a diary. So you keep a diary and you'll know how your body reacts, especially to the medications, especially to weather conditions. And once you know that, you feel empowered. When you're empowered, you come to your appointments, you speak with your doctor, you work as a team, and you'll be able to combat headache, combat your migraines as much as possible. And you're in a better position to see the light and see improvement.